Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Sprocket, the game where you can design your own tank uh, almost however you want. And today, I'm going to be doing some crazy experiments, comparing and contrasting. I'm essentially going to try to build a tank that maximizes every single slider it will let me, as much as it will let me. And I'm also going to build a tank that minimizes every single slider that it, that it will let me minimize. Um, at least to the point as to we can get a functional tank that can spawn into the game uh, Because there are some limitations as far as um, you know space internal space and all that stuff So I'm just gonna go as big and as small as possible and we're just gonna see what the difference between those tanks are um, So let's actually start off. It makes more sense to start off small to me uh, and then go big So we're just gonna go length and width <laughs> I'm only going to do it as far as like dimensions and things like that goes like with when it comes to ratios and stuff We're gonna just be reasonable. Yeah, so let's just start off I'm just going to literally minimize everything I possibly can and then we're going to expand from there to create to get rid of uh, These issues with internal space and we're just gonna see <laughs> I just want to see what happens when all the sliders are minimized. Oh, this is so stupid Stupid. This is so stupid. There's no more tank. I think that Yeah, there's no more tank. We've the tank has disappeared. Okay. Now let's go uh tracks. We're just gonna turn every oh see we can't oh no, alright, that went down. Okay. Alright, we just we just do that and everything goes down. We're we are disappearing the tank. We are literally turning it into actually nothing yep we just keep turning all these sliders down and something tells me it's gonna be harder than i was thinking to get this thing back to a reasonable working condition maybe i shouldn't have minimized every single slider first uh firepower gun mount um can i change the size of the gun mount Oh my goodness, I can't. <laughs> Imagine this is your cannon. This is the cannon. <laughs> oh, well, hold on. Hold on. Don't worry. I can solve that. That's an issue. We're just gonna do this. There we go. And let's go with that. No, yeah, let's go with that right there. That's the smallest one. Look at the cannon. Okay, so this is literally the smallest uh, This will make this will allow me to design this uh, but I cannot spawn this in Yeah invalid hull and turret overfilled increase size or remove armor heavy parts now We need to kind of reverse engineer um, wh What should we start with do we start with? I don't like I'm not seeing any different. This is internal space of what the turret or the hull What do we start with? Let's start with the turret because the turret is taking up the most space up here <laughs> This is this is just so oh, I didn't even have the diameter down my bad uh, This is so ridiculous Okay, where can I all right? Uh, let's do front. No, that's angle length. It might be that the turret and the hull yeah, the turret and the hull both help each other out. All right, so let's just do some length and width modifications here. There, all right, yeah, so this is what we gotta do. Yeah, we gotta we gotta start with some length and width modifications. Look at this, look at that. Okay, now we have enough hull space. Now let's go back to turret. What can we do to give this turret something? Just some space. Okay, there we go. Now I got the turret, but I have to go back to the hull. The turret has changed the hull just by the smallest little amount. So let's just give this... Ooh, 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 there we go. Okay, okay, we got it. We got it in a way that the hull and the turret now have enough space. What happens if I just spawn this in? Oh my god, it lets me spawn in. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't work. This does, this does not work at all. All right, but now we need to, we need to fix these tracks. Obviously, these tracks are having some issues here. Uh, so how how did I do this? Oh, right, yeah, let, let's make the tracks just match the size of the tank. What is what what's wrong? Wait, where I don't know where the, the issue is right now What do I need to adjust to make this right again? Where have I gone wrong with the tracks? <gasps> oh If I lower the crew I lower the amount of space I need but that probably affects my fire rate a lot doesn't it? 
So, oh, let, let's let's check out let's check out the cannon here. Like, this is the cannon right now. There's nothing. This cannon is nothing. So as far as reload time, only 1.5 seconds with how many crew members? With three crew members. If I go down to one crew member, is this even possible? Does it let me do this? Now the cannon is 1.53 seconds. That doesn't change the reload time. Okay, I'm all right. Let now that the crew member is lower, everything else requires less space. Believe it or not. So let's make the turret a lot smaller again. Oh my good! I just realized if I click fixed on the turret, we don't need a separate turret. So that I think really uh, suits. Yeah, that this suits this very very well. <laughs> this is our turret. It lets us do this, and we can totally change the mass or the uh, the dimensions of our tank now by a lot. Oh yes, look at this. Let's make it proportional. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Okay, uh, I just realized this gives me a problem. I don't have the a lot of the essentials anymore, which includes a driver, a gunner, a loader, a driver's port, and a gunner's sight. Let's get. How about let's put a gunner's sight on this thing. <laughs> The gunner's sight is as big as the entire turret. Uh, I think we're gonna have to put some crew members back, unfortunately. So now we need our driver's port, which I'll just put right, right there with the gunner's sight. So now we need a loader, a gunner, and a driver. Oh. 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 I can give this one crew member all of those responsibilities. Sorry, man. You're gonna have a lot to deal with here. Now let's check our reload. All right, that doesn't change our reload speed. The fact that he's also driving and gunning doesn't change his efficiency on reloading whatsoever. So we're gonna have a 20 millimeter caliber shell that is a tenth of a meter long firing out of this gun right here. So can we go though? Let's spawn this in. Can I shoot? <laughs> I can shoot. All right, so, I mean, it, wow. As far as aiming left and right, this far beats any of the other tanks I've done before. Except for the fact that the controls seem to not work if I'm also moving forward. I've, I've noticed this with this game a lot. Uh, left and right only really seems to work for me if I've stopped completely. Otherwise, it starts just doing other random stuff. All right, let's find a tank. We're probably gonna die right away. I didn't even look at my armor. I forgot to look at my armor completely. We're gonna have no accuracy. We're gonna have no damage. I didn't even look at what the damage was either. All right, let's see if we can just, um, all right, let's stop, ow. Let's zoom in on this guy right here. Uh, oh my God, I can't even aim side to side. It's so fast. All right, that, that guy's gone now. Let's go for this guy. Where's my, uh, where's my X? Oh, well, I'll just fire. <gasps> I almost hit him. Okay, I do, I no longer like, uh, turning with my, tr with my treads. Why is it an eight second load time when it clearly told me it was 1.53 seconds? All right, ready? It is so inaccurate. We have the, t look at this gun. Look at this gun. <laughs> just look at it. I should have painted this thing up. Oh, you know what? I just realized. I can change how much space I allocate for this guy, which gives me more ability to make the tank smaller. So I've learned that base reload time is probably affected by this debuff here. This guy uh, has some massive debuffs because he's working alone. He's doing everybody's job at the same time. He has a 21% efficiency. So that's probably why I'm taking a little bit longer to fire this pebble <laughs> at these other tanks. I mean, it is so small, it is allowing us to have 10 allies with us. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do, oh my goodness. Oh, the, if I just do this, we're gonna be a one-shot kill. But if I get rid of all my armor, I can make the tank even smaller. Okay, there we go. Now we look like this. And uh, for comparison, it's really hard to get an idea of how small this tank really is. But remember, um, you see this right over here? This is the default turret station. This is what the gun is supposed to be attached to. We have made this thing only a small fraction larger than the entire turret. Now let's try again. All right, now it takes 13 seconds to load this thing. Now that I've given the uh, the commander, driver, gunner, loader um, 
way, way, way less space. Uh, surprisingly, he doesn't work so fast no more. You know what? I'm just gonna zoom around. I have the speed advantage and I have the size advantage. And but, wow. I'm honestly surprised I survived that, to be honest. Like, I have no armor, zero armor. And I'm really surprised that they even hit me because I'm the smallest target. All right, I can't turn right now. I'm trying, I'm, I'm pressing D. Oh, there we go. It finally worked. Yeah, the turning while you're going, just it does not work very well. I'm pressing A right now to turn left. As you can see, I am doing the opposite of that. Oh, and there it goes. I've been immobilized. I'm gonna hold J to abandon the vehicle. Does, oh, that means I get another one. One of my other 10. Okay, who are we fighting? Who are we fighting over here? You know what, this is what I need to do. I need to be able to get access to one of these other tanks so I can compare my size to them. They need to let me approach though. I really wanna see how big I am compared to an enemy. I'm gonna die. All right, I'm dead. Don't worry, we got another backup. We got 10 backups here. I just wanna get near, oh, and I'm dead. All right, don't worry, we got another one. Now we can see the size comparison and, oh, I survived that, look at this. Look at how small I'm I'm like a I'm like a RC car at this stage. Look at this. This is amazing. This is actually amazing. He can't even hit I don't think he can hit me. <laughs> he can't Alright, I gotta fire at him. I'm gonna take uh oh, somebody else got me. Man, I was having fun with that. I was having so much fun with that. I'm coming after you. Okay, and I'm dead. We're all dead. Let's turn the tables here and let's try out maximum settings now. So in case you were wondering the size comparison, these are the saved tanks. Some of these are default, like the flat, some of them are mine. The flat tank and the scrap tank are mine. The first tank I built, the scrap tank, which was actually kind of a legitimate tank, was 72 tons. And this is 4.7 tons. So that gives you a bit of a perspective on the weight difference between these. So now let's go ahead and uh, we'll reset this tank, starting with a new design. And let's go ahead and start maxing out every sink. Oh. Oh, hold on. These are the other way around. Don't worry. We are going to style this thing uh, a little bit once we get there. I just got to figure out which settings make sense to max out and which settings are actually have the opposite effect. Oh my goodness. Look at the height. <laughs> this is going to make no sense at all. All right. These aren't even. Oh my. That makes that definitely. Can I do that? Design must be under 120 tons. <sighs> Okay, that's gonna be an issue, isn't it? All right, don't worry. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Now let's uh, let's max out the turret. All right, now we're on to the tracks. Some of these don't make sense to max out because they're not like bigger or smaller. They're like positions. So I'm gonna ignore those. We're gonna max out diameters. Uh, I don't know about height. Height doesn't really make any sense to me. Uh, spacings, width, sure. What is? I don't know what that means. All right, we're just going to put a bunch of stuff stacked on top of each other, apparently. <laughs> this is not making any sense. Okay, somehow this is what the tracks end up looking like. I cannot make the tracks any wider than this, uh, but th this is what it does for some reason. As you can see, all the sliders that make sense are pretty much maxed out. It doesn't really make any sense. Um, let's go to firepower now. Uh, yeah, we got a cannon. We got a cannon. We're gonna put the gun mount. What is the biggest I can make a gun mount? What is the biggest default gun mount? Let's go ahead and also do this. Oh my, yeah. Oh, that's not even centered, is it? How do I center? There we go, there's the center. Okay, so now the cannon, let's just do it. Go ahead and just bump all of these up. Caliber, shell length. All right, that's all the settings bumped up. So what, our reload time, guys, we're not gonna be able to fire this thing. Our reload time is over a minute. <laughs> you know, wait, 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 crew. Right, how much crew can we have? Five crew, efficiency 100, efficiency, what? No, we can allocate all the space. You guys can have everything. Have all the space you need. 100% efficiency for all these guys, that's good. We can't spawn this, we need to be 120 tons max. We're, we're more than double that. Okay, now that we've maxed everything out, now we have to uh, figure out, we have to dial things back until the game allows us to spawn this in. So we're at 274 tons. If I was gonna take away any weight, I think it would be from armor. Uh, yeah, this actually, this is helping us a lot. 
because it's really about the appearance of the tank, to be honest. This is more of an aesthetic thing that we're playing with here. So there we go. Okay, that, that put us along our way very, very quickly. Um, oh, let's just flatten these so we get rid of some of these values. Okay, now we need to take off another 42 tons. Oh my, I'm so close. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of some ammo because if we're gonna take over a minute to reload, we're not gonna be firing that many shots. So let's just get rid of, let's have only armor piercing high explosive. So there we go. Now we're down to 113. I can go back up to 120 though. So let's increase some of this here. Oh my goodness, look at the sprocket diameter. I don't, I didn't, I didn't max that out before. <gasps> this is insane. Oh yes. Oh yes, this looks so good. All right, I think we're ready. Let's see if this thing can even drive. Oh my God, I can't zoom out. Oh, that's bad. I can't even zoom out enough. Guys, we're never gonna be able to fire this cannon. We are, <laughs> we are never gonna be able to fire this cannon. Can I move the cannon around? I can't, I can't aim it. Where, oh, is our cannon falling? Yeah, it's got, <laughs> it is so loud. It is so loud. Okay, here we go. Man, look at the sprocket in the back. I can't zoom out enough to see this thing. I wish I could fire this cannon. I really wish I could fire this cannon. Oh, we survived a shot. We survived two shots. <gasps> and we're dead. This tank has so much empty space inside that when we get hit with a shell, it just echoes and reverberates this massive sound. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm saving this now as giant tank. Let's see if we can do a side-by-side -side comparison with these things. If we go to showroom, please tell me I can just click on different tanks here. Okay, so here we go. So keep in mind here that uh, just look at the size of these tracks that we're sitting on here. This is the tiny tank. And then where's giant tank? Look, the giant tank doesn't even fit in the thumbnail. <laughs> you can't fit. How am I supposed to put this thing in the thumbnail? Honestly. And what is this lighting? Can I change the lighting in here? This is terrible lighting for a showroom. This is the showroom. We're supposed to be able to show things. Okay, granted, my tank is so tall that it's literally... Okay, there's the problem. My tank is so tall that it's actually blocking the ceiling lighting. Yeah, I guess we do got some okay lighting here, but this should definitely be a brighter room, I think. This is so ridiculous. Okay, I spawned into sandbox mode just because I want to have an opportunity to fire this cannon. So I have to wait a very, very long time. I gotta wait 100 more seconds before I can fire this thing. All right, here we go. I've also realized that I can't aim the turret up at all. So we're just gonna have to watch from this perspective. All right, in three, two, one. That feels like it would be a lot of power. I wish there was like another tank I could shoot at here. But uh, I didn't even look, what's the caliber of what we just shot? So what you just witnessed was a shell that was a caliber of 250 millimeters and a shell length of 1.2 meters. <laughs> So I'd definitely say that the differences between the largest tank I could possibly make and the smallest tank I could possibly make, it's pretty massive. It's a pretty massive difference. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this just ridiculous experimental concept. Uh, if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see in this game, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you did enjoy it though, you probably enjoy some other stuff you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.